Hey everyone, Karmixin here, back with a brand new video. Today's video, I have three packages. I know what this one is. This is a Buddy Fright card. It's a single one by itself. So, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm put this over here, and I'm going to see what this is, because I actually legitimately don't know. Because I have a Bailey that's supposed to come in and says it isn't shipped yet. This is the appropriate sizing for it. So, uh, let's unbox this one first, shall we? That's on my bra brass right now. I'm just gonna cut a nice little hole here. This is nice this. In order to open up the nice and heavy little package. Doesn't have to look nice. Now, be careful with those come on. You got yourself. Now, remember to get the, get the little sides right here. Say what? Wait, this is Screw Trident? What the heck? I thought this was Screw Trident. It, it didn't. It feels like it, and it looks like it. I didn't know it was this small of a package. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is ridiculously small. Hold on a second, because I've got my like boxes. Because when Killer Death Scyther, Alter Chronos, Blast Genius, and Blade Dragon, when those came out, their packages were somewhat small, but not as small as that. I mean. Uh, here's Kronos's, because I like to keep my Beyblade packages. Yeah, look, this one's bigger and wider. Toko's, uh, Screw Trident isn't. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. That's why I didn't know. I thought those were the cards. I mean, rectangular shape and stuff like that sort of gave it away, so I don't know what's in there. I think those have to be the other cards, and I'll box those next. But, uh, anyway, I ordered Screw Trident 8 Bump Wedge. This was the last release of God, and one of the first God layers and newest ones to appear in Chozetsu, because, um, yeah, Volt's brother eventually gets Trident. I don't think it was ever shown in the anime that he had Trident, because it was never shown. I think his bait was, like, a random Curvius suck, like, a random Curvius combo, if I remember right, because there was, like, one episode where he did, like, a, a launch or something like that, but he never really battled uh, in any other times, so they gave him Screw Trident, and he uses that in the Chozetsu. Now, as a, and, uh, he's more of, a, like, a side character, so we don't see it too much. And Screw Trident is a stamina type compared to his brother's attack type. Alright, you got the stickers here. It's gonna take me forever to do. Anything else in there? Nope. I'm gonna keep this nice and neat. Save that, because I like to save the packages. And here he is. Um, originally, Screw Trident was in one of the random layer boosters and had more of a orange color to it when it was and no one knew what its combo were the same for like um twin nemesis it was in the random layer thing first and then it eventually got its own thing i'm gonna eventually get twin nemesis but i'm kind of waiting to get a new guy valkyrie uh, anyway here's the layer and its layer is actually shock absorb that's the gimmick shock absorption because if you can see it's kind of moving here i can all sort of like rubber here 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 on the inside like you can see me doing this and it going moving around too. The gimmick is stock shock absorption, so whenever something hits it, the rubber will just move the center around a bit, and it will can um, turn that into spin energy. Uh, I think that's kind of why they gave it an attack type combo, an attack type combo, in Random Booster Volume Volume Eleven. They gave it an attack combo. I'm assuming because they wanted to use the shock absorption gimmick with an attack version. They gave it like volcanic lift. And something else. I don't know what remember what the disc is, but I know left is a frame, and they gave him like a purple sort of violet volcanic. Like I don't think Screw Trident's a terrible Beyblade. Ah, next we have the disc and frame right here. If I can get them out of the packaging. Ah, it came with eight and bump, which is very heavy. 
like as of the moment when this came out and stuff like that because like 12 13 those discs didn't exist yet so if i remember correctly seven and eight were the heaviest discs around however when bump first came out when um uh, i don't know why i forgot his name ark bahamut was released in the um four set of beyblade stuff and finally wedge which is supposed to be the metal sharper driver it's eventually used on Crash Ragnarok, which is no correlation. It's supposed to be able to be a driver that's like for stamina with this, I guess, semi sharp tip, and yet it can also gain friction because of its metal. And as everyone else said, yeah, the teeth are, the teeth are kind of weak. Would you get the mail out there? The mailbox too. Sorry about that. Um, for some reason, the mailman who today gave us old mail. And sort of, and I was wondering why so much mail was just crammed in. Cause today and yesterday, mail was kind of crammed into there, and it was kind of a bunch. Anyway, here's what it looks like assembled together. It's kind of tall, cause um, if you guys know cycle, let me get it out right here real quick. Um, yeah, right here. Like, cause I've been wondering what cycle would look like without this on here. And if you look closely enough, you can see this part here and where it's separated. You can sort of see it in between. Essentially, Wedge is like cycle with this part removed, but also made of metal. That's kind of how I see it anyway. So I'm going to put the stickers on this, which is going to take about 15 minutes, because that's what it took last time. And then I'm going to um, do a little test spin and a test battle. I wish I had Zed Achilles so I could test it, because that's like the first fight he had that we saw. Okay, real quick, um, here's the first format for good combos. The attack combo before is one, what was that, glaive or hit? It's hit. Uh, ultimate reboot for attack. Stamina is, uh, five. Vortex bearing. And defense is two. Bump guard. Also, um, I can't read what that says, but that's basically God Valkyrie right there. I think this might be like a little teaser for Chozetsu. For the fact that there's going to be a new Valkyrie released, which is eventually going to be winning Valkyrie, but they didn't do an outlining of it. That's kind of it there. I just wanted to show that off. Okay, finally finished putting on the stickers. They look pretty nice and neat. Now let's do a test spin. Let's put it together. As you can see, the teeth are kind of sort of not that sharp. Yeah, not that tight. String launcher here. <laughs> ah, that's a pretty nice and stable launch. As always, I'm going to be a little off balance. Yeah, there it is, the weak teeth. Okay. So, because this is Bolt's brother, and because of the little sheet I showed you, let's use God Valkyrie versus Screw Trident. Because if I use any other shows that feel hilarious, it's gonna burst pretty easily. Yeah, so it's not completely terrible, like most bays. It's not completely terrible. Same for Guardian Curveus. I have had my Guardian Curveus uh, burst. Legend Strigan before while I was in left spin. So pretty much this is a pretty good bay and the gimmick is good. It's just that the teeth are a little weak and with the wedge driver and stuff like that, it's kinda easily burstable like Guardian Curveus is. Um I don't know if the one that came in Rainbow Booster Volume Eleven's teeth are better, but if they are, I would recommend getting that and just using the stock combo here. It's like what most people did with God Valkyrie's reboot, because it was the first version, they just replaced it with a different reboot from like the purple one. Let's do one more test battle, real quick. Against Blaze Ragnarok. Huh. Double burst finish. Also shows you like how wide Screw Triton is as well. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment and touch below, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, watch out for dogs, and do whatever you have to to hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for the channel, especially if you're new. Peace out.